All right, thanks so much, Rebecca. Well, colon cancer rates are on the rise among people under the age of 50. It's an alarming trend that prompted health experts to change the age recommendation for colonoscopy screenings to 45. It's news I myself have followed closely because colon cancer runs in my family. And when urged by my primary care physician to get a colonoscopy, I listened. I am 43 years old. My grandmother had colon cancer twice, and I had an odd test result at my doctor's office during my yearly physical. Both reasons, I decided to get a colonoscopy younger than the recommended age of 45, with the help of Dr. Tejal Mystery at Gastrointestinal Associates. You're not going to feel a thing? If you have a family history or other, you know, inflammatory bowel disease or you know other causes that may have you to even be screened earlier you can discuss that with your uh, physician and you may get screened earlier than 45. These are the main rare complications. But it's even earlier if your family history involves your mom or dad. Guidelines say that first degree relatives you start at 40 or 10 years earlier from when your first degree relative was diagnosed, whichever one comes first. Colorectal cancer is the second most common cause of cancer deaths in the U.S., according to the American Cancer Society. Numbers show this year alone, more than 153,000 people will be diagnosed with colon cancer, and a third of those people won't make it. That's why screenings are so important. I want my mommy. We have all probably heard about the prep. Let's be honest, the whole process is less than glamorous. You start a liquid diet the day before and then drink a ton of water and take a lot of pills the night before. One of these every two minutes with water and there's 12 of them. This is part of the prep. Then the morning of more pills, more water. Down the hatch. Then the process begins. Check in. We'll get you some warm blankets. Change clothes. This is your colon. At week. Chat with your doctor. I made sleep. Then some good meds. And we're all here. Thank you, okay? guys. Thank you. And the main event, the colonoscopy. The mucosa lining is kind of shiny. Seems super easy, right? Yeah. It actually was. I'll come see you in two seconds. My end result was a best case scenario. So no, nothing weird. Nothing weird at all. But had it not been, I would have detected any issues early. You did great. We're all finished. Which is ideal. Most cancer screenings are you're getting screened to see, oh, do I have the cancer or not? Yes, that's what a colonoscopy is for. But a huge reason is prevention. We take out the precancerous polyps. We take out polyps and kind of you follow up in three to five to seven years. Oh, wow. man. Abby, this is so important. It, it was very nerve wracking doing this story. <laughs> I think I've said this several times, but I mean, it's a vulnerable thing to bring somebody in on an appointment like that, but I found it to be so important. Colon cancer has been something that's been a persistent theme in my family, mm -hmm. and I wanted to make sure that people understood how important these colonoscopies are. Yeah, well, you did a great job, and you know what? You have a beautiful colon. <laughs> my doctor, so glad your so results were good. Who's amazing said, You have a beautiful colon when I woke <laughs> up, and I was like, you wake up from that sleep and it's like, that was the best sleep ever. Thank you. Well, like you said, best case scenario. So glad Best case it. scenario. But yeah. not everybody has that end result, and that's why it's so important to get screened. Absolutely. All right, we have to take another quick break. Here's a look at